fact, 50% of the people with cystic fibrosis will not survive to celebrate their 40th birthday. Think about it. Cystic fibrosis is the most common fatal genetic disease of the Canadian population and a genetic disease does not discriminate. Affected individuals are constantly sick, undergoing social, psychological and economic challenges. The disease affects some key functions in their bodies, including something as fundamental as breathing. Many define the feeling as drowning inside. A major contributor to their condition is a bacteria called Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas is a common bacteria that's found everywhere, but an infection with this so-called common bacterium is a bad news not only for those with cystic fibrosis, but any type of immune weakness. This includes newborn babies, those with burns, cancers, and the list goes on. These individuals run the risk of infection with Pseudomonas from virtually anywhere and mostly from unavoidable places such as hospital and dental clinics. Once infected, Pseudomonas forms communities known as biofilms which are very difficult to clear. This adaptability in Pseudomonas is because Pseudomonas has eyes and ears which help it sense the environment and then change its internal wiring in such a smart way that it can survive anywhere, even inside human body. I'm studying these so-called eyes and ears of the bacteria, also known as signaling systems, which are just like radio antenna for the bacteria, but a little complex. These antennae transmit signals from outside the bacteria to inside. Just as signal jamming is used by governments and militaries to prevent unwanted communication, I'm working towards two goals. First, understanding the structure of these antennae and then finding ways to block incoming signals. I have found that these antennae are actually quite unique and if they are blocked in any way, the bacteria behave like zombies and can be moved away. But what about so many antibiotics in the market? True, unfortunately, they alone are inadequate. Antibiotics are foreign in nature, so the bacteria fight them by resistance. Antibiotics also have a lot of side effects we know so much about. Imagine the possibility of treating deadly infections by manipulating the very bacteria that cause it. As I fine-tune my research towards better targeted therapies, we are undeniably providing a stronger hope and a deeper breath for those in need. Thank you.